Hey guys, welcome to Life Elevated Trailers. Right behind me, I've got the brand new 2022 RPM Chris Brandt Edition Snowmobile Trailer. Also, welcome to our new location. This is on 457 West, 410 South. Got a new building, three and a half acre lot with pull through base due to all your service and, and take care of any needs you have. So feel free to come see us. Now, back to the exciting part of this video. Here she is, new for 2022. The nose cone is paint matched, got rid of the chrome, laser cut the RPM into it and backlit it. So as you go down the road at night, the RPM glows going down the road. Really cool on the look side of things. The other thing that's new for 2022 is we all know as snowmobilers and as guys who ride, we're wearing backpacks that charge now, avalanche backpacks. So in the back of the trailer, there's more charging ports to charge up your avi pack when you get done riding to make sure that you're always safe on the mountain. If you were just wanting to know what's new for 2022, that's it. You can stop watching. I'm going to do a full walkthrough now of the trailer and show you, if maybe if you're new to them, why you would want a Barant over any other snowmobile trailer out there on the market. All right, now for those of you that want the full walkthrough, I'll start here at the front and go through all the features on this trailer so you can see why it's the best, most purpose-built snowmobile trailer on the market, bar none, hands down. One option that we add here at Life Elevated Trailers are the bigger propane tanks. You got 33% more propane on this trailer than you do on your standard five gallon tanks, which means that you go to the propane station a third less per winter. This front ramp is 72 inches wide, so you don't have to get off your sled and drag your back end around as you pull in. You just drive right in, turn the corner, no worries on hitting anything. And these halves are lockable and they're all keyed the same, front ramp, man door, and rear ramp. Moving back on the trailer, one of my big frustrations when I'm at the gas station is not being able to reach all the sleds. So you've got a fuel door in the front, you've got a man door in the middle, and you have a fuel door in the back so that you can fill up all your sleds easily without having to move around a bunch and pull fuel nozzles out and all those things. This is a step they added a few years back, um, but they've added a traction block to it as well so that when you're coming in and out of the trailer, you don't have to worry on those slick days about slipping and falling coming down your step. Um, load lights, obviously, over the man door and the front door. Aluminum wheels, 5,200-pound axles with brakes, um, 225 tires. So you'll never have tire issues, never have axle issues if you are using this, this trailer properly, right? Um, coming around the back, you've got stabilizer jacks in the corner. The rear ramp is really cool. I'll show you here. It's not like your standard ramp door that's really heavy coming down, you gotta hang on to it. You can give this ramp a pull, step out of the way, and it's not even gonna hit the ground, okay? All right, here we are inside, and as promised in the beginning of the video, here is your new backpack hanging station with USB charge ports. Each of these has two charge ports in it, so you have eight power stations right here in the back of your trailer. All the lights are moved into the cove to give you a nice kind of surround lighting that doesn't create uh, shadows when you're trying to work on stuff. Everybody's moving to onesies. They're the rage. They're awesome. So in order to dry your onesie, you got to hang it higher off the floor. So we put in a new onesie rack to hang up all your, all your onesies. An option is this high power vent. It's reversible in direction, has three speeds and it moves a lot of air. So when you're drying your stuff out and you're trying to pull the moisture out of the trailer, you can leave these on and really get everything super dry. Um, standard with all the brands are your benches, so you can get ready sitting down easily. Um, helmet cabinet, heated, dry out your helmet and goggles in here with soft close gas shocks, okay? And that's on both of these. Got a tool cabinet here. So that in my trailer, I keep a spare front end. All my friends ride the same sled, makes it nice. We share a front end. So if you break an A-arm, we have one in the trailer. Zip back here, pull your front end off, put a new arm on, head back up the mountain. Soft close as well. Right here by the man door, they used to have, if you had Brants for a while, they used to have a kill switch right here. We took it out because people were killing their furnace as well when they would shut the trailer off. If you shut a furnace off without letting it cool down, it will melt parts inside of it. So what we've done is we've added the kill switch again to kill all your power in the trailer. However, your furnace is not connected into this kill switch so that you can kill all your lights and um, the stereo and everything else, but you don't shut off your furnace and damage it. 
really cool. A good, nice feature makes it easy to get in and out and know that your trailer is off. Right here on the wall, one of the best things about a Barant is the furnace. It's on a timer. So when I get done riding, I come in my trailer, I'll get back to my house. I come in my trailer, I click my furnace on, I turn the heat all the way to hot, and I spin this to however many hours I want it to dry my stuff for. If it is really cold and I am really, all my stuff is really wet, turn that sucker up to five or six hours and just let the heat dry all your stuff with zero issues. Moving forward, you've got tons of hanging space. So like in the back, you can hang all your backpacks, you can hang all your onesies on the onesie rack, you can hang all your coats, bibs, everything up here. And then on top of that, you've got a spot for gloves, goggles, boots, all integrated up here, all with heat. There's heat that comes out these poles, there's heat that comes out these holes. Another little thing that you wouldn't think of unless you were a snowmobiler and you actually rode is that your boots are usually the wettest thing that you take off at the end of a ride. And if you put the drying poles for the boots up here, your boots drip onto all your other gear. Tiny details that really set this trailer apart. So your wet boots drip onto the floor rather than onto your gloves and goggles. Up top here is another, I use this for all my oil. I keep all my oil and, and you know, liquids in this, in this case, makes it really nice. When I get to the hill, somebody doesn't have oil in their sled or if I forgot, I'm never having to run back home to get anything. Um, and then obviously you've got the stereo, four speakers plus a subwoofer. It's just fun to be with your buddies, jam to tunes, getting dressed, getting ready to go rip on the mountain. Um, up here, you've also got a bunch of charging ports. So all your radios and every other electronic device, your Garmin to keep you safe in the backcountry is charged up and ready to go when you get to the mountain. Even if you forgot, plug it in on your drive up and it'll be ready to go for a day on the snow. Um, one thing I didn't mention, I think everybody knows about it, but let's go over it. In your floor here, there's holes all the way back. This is the track melt system. Pushes heat out under your sled to make sure that your sled gets melted off completely. With heat rising, you want to blow it up from the bottom so that it keeps the heat low and, and gets your sled dried out. A question I get a lot on these and something I've learned over the years is people always wonder, well, how does the water get out of this trailer? Trailers are not watertight. If there's water sitting in them, it will find its way out. There's seams in the wood. There's seams along the edge. Water never sprays in, but it finds its way out. We don't ever have problems with rotting, bubbling, swelling, any of that. This trailer is built to let water get out of it so that you're not going to have issues of water puddling in here. Um, so that's a pretty thorough walkthrough of this trailer. There are 110 outlets in here. When you plug the trailer in, on the outside, there's a plug that you just plug in an extension cord to. These outlets go live so that you can run power tools and other 110 things in this trailer. You've got one here by the door and one up in the nose. Um, and then your spare tire and your two six volt batteries are here in the floor. So you get a lot more power in this trailer than just one standard 12 volt deep cycle. You have two six volt basically golf cart batteries in here. Um, this trailer has the extreme cold weather package on it, which is an insulated floor. So all the way under this trailer, there's spray foam to hold the heat in. Um, available options that you can get on these and you can call us and talk about is you can add a 40 gallon fuel cell to this trailer. You can add a solar panel to charge your batteries and tend them. If you're parking it in a parking lot where there's not a way to plug it in, solar panels a must have. Um, we do also make a rail for the roof that you can hang your sled from. If you need to work on it, you can pick up your front end, change an A-arm and set it back down from a roof rail that we have. Um, there's a lot more other stuff too that we can put in these, but those are the really popular options that we seem to add a lot to these trailers. Give us a call. The one thing that I know is if you get a trailer from me and from us here at Life Elevated Trailers, you're going to get the trailer that is optioned correctly for what you want to do because we ride. We, I own one myself and I use it probably 50 times a year. So when it comes to being an expert on how to set these trailers up and how they work, there's no better dealer in the country. So give us a call. Appreciate you watching the video.